Hello and welcome to another in my series on the four acceptable colors for Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. And today we're going to focus on, guess what, the tricolor. This is Apple. Apple. Hello. Hello, Daddy. Apple is just two years old. And I think she's a very good example for a tricolor. She's a very nice Cavalier. She's not perfect. I don't think there is such a thing as a perfect dog of any kind. But um, we will point out exactly what she has going for her in terms of her coloring and talk about what is required by the breed standard uh, for tricolors. There are several breed standards that are in use. Um, the original breed standard, which was drawn up about 100 years ago, is in the UK. Um, we, have a breed, we have two breed standards in the United States, one for the American Cavalier uh, King Charles Spaniel Club, which is the AKC parent club, and one for the original Cavalier Club, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Club USA, which has been around since 1954. The one unifying factor in all of the breed standards is that tricolors should have jet black markings on a pearly white background. For the most part, the breed standards kind of don't specify exactly where those jet black markings are to be found. One of the standards states that the ears should be black and there should be black evenly spaced on either side of the head. But other than that, there's really not very much specified about where the black is. Um, but we want those markings to be what we call well broken. So if we take a close look at Apple's body, we will see that she has a big black mark around her, uh, her rib cage. Uh, there's white in the area here and there's a little splotch of white here and there's a splotch of white back there um, this would be acceptably broken all of the breed standards mention where the tan markings should be found they should be found excuse me girl above the eyes she thinks I have food <laughs> above the eyes looks like a couple of eyebrows there on the cheeks, on the underside of the ears, and under the tail. We normally find the white definitely around the muzzle, and also we like to see, although only one of the three breed standards mentions it, a blaze, which is a little white streak, coming up between the eyes. Actually, when Apple was young and her coat as a puppy was quite short, that white blaze came all the way around. And you can see now it's kind of filled in with black because the black hair tends to grow at a much faster rate than the white hair. We also expect to see the forechest completely white, the belly white. We expect to see white legs, but you can have black on the upper part of the leg, or you could have a leg that is completely white. And occasionally you will see some tan on the leg. That white we like to see as, because it's described as pearly white, we like to see it as a pure white. Now if you take a close look at Apple's muzzle, you might notice that she's got these cute little brown spots. There's one right there on her muzzle. And there's another one right there. She also has some black spots on the white of her leg. Those marks are called ticking and ticking is actually considered a fault in the coloring of a tricolor. But of course we always recognize that if everything else about the dog is as it should be 
then the markings should not prevent that dog from being honored as a winning dog. One last comment about tricolors, and especially about the head. Cavaliers' heads are very, very important when it comes to showing them because they should be very expressive. Um, they should have a soft, what's described as a limpid look when they look at you. And because of the harsh contrast between the black and the white right next to each other on the face, it would be very easy for that harshness to translate into a harsh look. So if we can get a tricolor that has a sweet look, which I think apple does have. Apple, are you sweet? Huh? No comment. Um, if you have a soft, sweet expression on a tricolor cavalier, that's really a plus. Um, the spacing of the eyes, the coloring of the eyes, the um, and the markings for the eyebrows all contribute to the facial expression of the dog. So if all of it comes into place nicely, then you have a very good looking cavalier head. So I hope that was informative to you and I look forward to having some more videos about cavalier colors, about the breed standard, about puppies, about care, about health, and all the other topics you might be interested in. Apple? Say goodbye to everybody. Apple, say goodbye. Bye, fans.